Welcome back all my Minecrafting friends. Uh, I had a question by Westcraft Crew on uh, on my uh, video uh, a witch gets the witch uh, Mrs. Witch gets uh, bedroom furniture where he asked how did you catch the witch without getting killed? And that's a good question and I wanted to uh, answer it. I couldn't answer it uh, on his comment because there's no uh, reply button. I don't know if he has something set different than other people, but you know, there's no reply button, so I couldn't answer it there. But I'm going to answer it here, and and I'm going to tell you everything I know about how to catch a witch, because that could come in handy in the June challenge. Okay, as you know, in this uh, this little world, I have a witch upstairs. Let me get out of this. I can't move. I have a witch trapped upstairs in this house. Right there. See? And I have a name tag on her which says Mrs. Witch so that she won't despawn when I run off. Okay? And uh, my big plan was to uh, go out there in the plains and uh, like pillar up on a block of of uh, sand or whatever, you know, dirt or something. Uh, pill up, pill, pillar up, you know, enough that the skeletons and spiders and stuff would leave me alone. But so I could still see the surrounding areas and. Uh, you know, and then just watch for a witch to spawn. And I watched for two nights in a row and didn't see any. So then I, I gave up on that plan and I was running around doing something else and a witch just spawned over here, right, you know, pretty close to the edge of the, of the biome right there. A witch just spawned right there and I just ran over here and, and got her attention and as soon as you get within a certain number of blocks they chase you and I already had the house built so then I just uh, you know ran ran into the house you know with her chasing me and uh, ran inside she followed me inside and then I ran out and closed the door and that's how I did it but uh, I'm not saying that that's the easiest way to do it you should also bring uh, milk with you which you can drink the milk and then she will uh, it will cure any poison that she has I mean that she hits you with so if you get poisoned you can just drink the milk and you know so you might want to have a you know a couple of uh, buckets of milk on hand when you do this there's stew I have a cow over here Ooh, zombie dude. Okay, but uh, my big plan after I spotted a uh, after I spotted a witch, I was planning on uh, I was planning on uh, you know going down. Uh, just out of range where she wouldn't actually be following me at that point and uh, digging a hole digging a pit that was like two blocks deep so that she couldn't get out of it and then putting ladders on one side I had ladders with me <laughs> more zombies uh, See, and then I was going to, uh, you know, after I had the pit dug, of course, before I dug the pit, I'd have to clear out all the, all the zombies that were in the area, or skeletons or whatever, you know. Uh, of course, when I, when I did this in this world, I had, uh, you know, enchanted armor, you know, with protection three, and, and good stuff, you know. 
so but you probably won't have all that in your in your June challenge so it's going to be more difficult sorry about that but you know that's why it's called a challenge and for this world I wasn't really looking to make it difficult I was looking to make it easy because this is just the uh, the practice world to uh, you know to see how how it would be to uh, oh I have a little made a little fire pit down here too isn't that cool okay so that was my plan I had I had ladders and I was gonna once once I got her into the pit and then got myself out uh, you have to stay close by because if you get too far away she's gonna despawn again okay so we don't want that so you have to stay uh, close by So what I was going to do is I was uh, going to just dig a little scotty hole next to the pit, okay? And, you know, see how that went. Do I have a shovel with me? I do not have a shovel. Uh, and then just wait until daytime and any, any skeletons or zombies or anything that had, uh, you know, fallen into the pit with her would burn up in the sun but uh, but witches don't burn up in the sun so that wouldn't be a problem and then once once daylight uh, once daylight came and burned up the uh, zombies and the skeletons then I could worry about getting the witch home which shouldn't be as hard in the daytime because you don't have all these other distractions okay of course if you can find one right at the end of the evening that would be the best you know of spiders chasing me right now. Okay. Guess all the spiders got out of range. So, like, this looks like a good spot right here to put my, uh, to survey the area and find a witch and then dig a hole. So, let's pause the recording here and, uh, wait for nightfall. Okay, the sun is going down, the moon is coming up, uh, oh, another thing, you want to make sure that you have your name tag all ready to go with you when you do this, because you want to put the name tag on her as soon as possible so that she doesn't despawn, I mean, you can, you can wait until the morning, but, uh, you know, you can't go anywhere until you get the name tag on her, so. Like if you catch a witch out here in a pit out here and then you run back to the house to get something, you come back, she's going to be gone. That's no good. So, now we watch and see if a witch spawns. 
have our shovel ready. We got our ladders ready. Uh, when I see the witch, I can uh, chop this down. There'll probably be zombies at the bottom. I can chop this down a little bit so that I don't take so much fall damage, but so that the zombies still can't reach me and then jump off and make a run. Uh, hopefully getting out of range of the zombie horde but if not I might have to uh, hit them with the sword of course you probably won't have an enchanted sword at this point in the in the challenge so it's going to be harder for you than it is for me doing this little demonstration but this is just a uh, proof of concept so in, in my actual challenge, I'll be doing it the same way you do, and I'll be recording my first episode later on today and posting it tonight, and, uh, you know, yeah, see how it goes. Of course, I won't be confronting any witches on day one, so no one has an excuse for dying on day one. Uh, I've already watched Techno Shark, Techno Shark Man, do his day one episode and uh, he ran over to the forest uh, cut down some trees got I think three oak saplings two or three uh, birch saplings and ran back to the uh, the mushroom biome just in time to keep from starving to death which was good hey there's two witches right there okay here we go and no zombies in sight although there is a spider which we're going to have to kill so now let's get to a good spot here oh I hear zombies that's not good okay My ladder's up over there. Now, let's just go get the witch and bring her over here. Right? Just one will do. But spiders will not do. Oh, man. Almost get it. Okay, well, anyway, you saw how well the plan worked for me. So, good luck to you in June. Uh, I hope you do better. They're still throwing stuff at me. Okay, this is Mike Daring signing out.